<laughs> Let's eat this food, boy. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. Food is definitely one of the best things about traveling to a new place. When you try new foods, especially foods that taste really good, it's awesome. I want that to be part of my channel. Not the main part, but the main part that I want to show is just the culture. And that includes the food, it includes the, the sports, it includes the, just like these scenes, people walking downtown. Uh, it includes me meeting local people, staying in hostels, all that jazz, man. This place is dope. I love it. This is, this is definitely a passion of mine. What's up, everybody? This is Connor Sullivan. Hope you're having a great day. I am here at the Old West Gate Youth Hostel in Shanghai, China right now. I have $15, which is about 100 yuan, and I'm going to spend it, not entirely, but mostly, on street food. I'm going to go right down this street, and the first stores that I smell or see that look delicious, I'm going to buy the food, show you what I eat, and give you a little taste of what an average alleyway is in the Shanghai area. Yo chow. Wow. The main city is only about a mile this way. You can walk there in 20 minutes. I'm staying at a hostel for $10 a night, and this is some of the street food that you're gonna get to taste if you come to Shanghai. Let's do this. You got the early birds out on their motorcycles, walking to work, a lot of people opening shop right here. This is a vegetable shop. We got vegetables here. We got meat back right there. This sushi breakfast roll is in my top five foods ever eaten, and that's saying something because I don't usually throw those words around a lot. And you're gonna get to see it right now. Here it goes. Coming to you live. First food I'm gonna try in this video. I've tried it before, and I know it is one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten. This is what I call the breakfast sushi roll. Yes, yes, eggs. Put the egg in there too. Spices. It's sticky rice, a fried egg, various spices. There's like four different types of spices. You can see them here. I'm not sure what those spices are. They're not hot. They just add a little bit of flavor. Then she adds crunchy fried bread. I know that it's kind of like a crouton. She puts those all inside, scrunches them up into a sushi roll, and you have this beautiful looking steaming rice sushi breakfast burrito. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is a breakfast sushi roll. I'm gonna bring this back, open it up for you guys, show you how it's eaten. I'm walking by some meat meat shops right here, and then noodle shops. You'll see those, let's check them out. First bite, here we go. I could eat this for every meal. Let's see what's inside. You got the fried bread, eggs on the outside, then the spices all mixed in and it's very simple, extremely tasty. See, this is the beauty of getting a hostel when you travel to a different country because you're not in a touristy area with hotels, high rises, you're right in the middle of the local people where they eat, where they work, and where you can get some delicious food. This was seven yuan, no, six yuan, which is less than a dollar. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on social media if you want updates on what I'm gonna post next, and we're gonna continue with this food tour, Shanghai. Boom. Try number two, out the hostel, onto the street. First thing I see that looks good, I'm gonna get. I was eyeing uh, the bread. There was a shop right next to the place where I got the burrito. It looked like some pancake looking bread. <laughs> we'll get it. That's where I got the burrito. This is the bread. This is a Chinese version of just a fresh bread roll that you get in the morning and you eat it on the way to work. You can put butter on it, it'll probably taste amazing. If you put syrup or sugar on this though, ooh, then it would be a pancake. One. Thank you. I got the bread, it's super hot, piping hot. They folded it in half and gave it to me. I'm gonna taste it right now as I'm walking back to the hostel. And it tastes just like a fresh bread roll, no sugar added. You can get these anywhere, Germany, France, but it's a Chinese version. Mm -hmm. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. And uh, here's the other half. So it was a long one, they fold it in half, and it has two sides you can peel apart too. Look at this. Oh, do you know what this is called, this bread? Uh, All right, we have a professional with us right now. 
You want to sit down? What is your name again? I, I, I can't pronounce it. Uh, Ting Nana. Ting Nana. Yes. And she, you work at the hostel? Yeah. She works at the hostel and she's been my, uh, I guess, Chinese translator for all my videos. And what do you call this? Yo Tiao. Yo Tiao. Yo Tiao. And is it just bread? Fried bread? Yeah, right. That's it? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I guess so. And people eat it for breakfast? Yeah, sure. Okay, on the That's way to work? Anytime. I anytime. Yo Tiao. Wow. Oh, and I got this thing for two yuan, which is about 30 cents. That's insane. Try number three, walking down the same street, and I've only spent less than a dollar for those two things. Here we go. But the bread that I just reviewed, if you put powdered sugar on it or syrup, it would be basically the mix of a pancake and a funnel cake. That's kind of what it tastes like. The mix of a pancake and a funnel cake. And if you put powdered sugar and syrup on it, ooh, you'd be in business. Probably sell those everywhere at all times of the day. Take a look at these meat shops. These are pretty cool. They got the meat hanging in the front all lit up. See that? I'm gonna get a little uh, square of rice that's wrapped up in a bamboo leaf. I think I'm gonna try one of those orange balls too. Nice. Very good. That's good, yeah. I'll get that one. Oh, th this is in there. Ah, okay, okay. I didn't know that, I was pointing at this. I thought she was gonna get, just give me one, but apparently that is inside, so we're gonna see what it is. First one I think is just beans and rice. Local shop. Everybody's coming here in the morning to get it. Uh, I think that, that guy who was the man before, he, he actually bought me one. I told him I had money for it. So hopefully he saves that for uh, for lunch. But we got two of these things. Let's go check them out, see how they taste. Songs. 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 Yeah. Okay, so the Chinese name for these are called songs. Songs. And they're really famous. Yeah, this is songs for okay. the traditional Chinese dragon festival. And what is it made out of? Just just rice and beans? Rice, bean, and meat. Okay. Taste test number three. I spent one dollar, or less than one dollar on these two. Just sticky rice and beans mashed together in a pyramid. I need to get some salt, that's what I need. Then it would be bomb. Even better would be if they put cheese in the middle of these things, right? Imagine that. A rice, beans, and cheese pyramid. So you bite into it, the cheese melts out. So basically a bean burrito in the shape of a pyramid. Mm, mm, mm. It's hot. <laughs> I'm ready for this one. Because that little orange ball that you guys saw, that's gonna be in the middle of this. Soy sauce. Same sticky rice. Soy sauce. Tastes a lot better already because of the, uh, the saltiness of the soy sauce. The bite of truth is coming up. I'm gonna just go for it. Mm. There you go. Let's see it. Excuse me? What? What is this called? Uh, egg. Egg? Yes. Is that egg? Yes. Oh, I thought it was a fruit to be honest. Egg has a different flavor. I'm not used to this type of egg. Keep in mind that I've only spent about $2 at this point. Let's go. Oh, baby, let's go. That's where I bought the rice, the rice pyramids last time. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked that this is such, it defines China from what I knew about it perfectly. You know, I've only seen it in magazines or like on TV, but this is just like a typical Chinese village outside of a big city. And I'm walking among the people and eating their food. It's really cool. The best way to learn about a culture is to get into it. Just get into it as soon as possible and see what it's really about. Shops are pretty cool. If I was living here, obviously, and I was staying for longer than two weeks, I'd buy some fish, go up to my place, boil it up, whatever they do. So interesting, so interesting, dude. This is dope. All right, it's raining. That's why I'm standing under this covering. Food tour continues. I gotta keep keep it going because I can get lost just looking at everything, which is what I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get lost looking at looking at everything too. And in the meantime, get some food. Oh, I do. 
All right, now I got this quesadilla. What is this called? Pancake. This is a pancake? Yeah, the Chinese yeah. one. Chinese pancake? Yeah. Hey, I wanted to find not, Chinese. Not, not uh, uh, Shanghai local, but from other province. But uh, they make this here. Oh, uh, yes, everything. <laughs> okay, put it on there. Put the crackers. Shoot, man, I think it's an, another breakfast quesadilla type thing. Is it sweet? Yeah, as sweet or spicy or uh, or. Or how do you say the word? Uh, salt. Salty. 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 Sweet, yeah. spicy, or salty. I'm hoping this is sweet. I like original. Don't uh, like a sweet, salty, or. You like original? Spicy, spicy sometimes. Spicy sometimes, okay. Yeah. I don't like spicy. Why? Because my, my tongue is like sensitive. Ah. It's too hot. Oh. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna go eat it now. <laughs> it can be sweet, it can be spicy, or it can be salty. I don't know which one I have yet. So let's just give it a bite, test it out. Ooh, I think mine's salty. Salty. Croutons, onions, salt paste, egg, and bread. Chinese pancake. See, look at He's eating uh, soup, or it's like porridge. See? <laughs> Video. <laughs> I'm just walking in the town and I saw he's eating, uh, it's like oatmeal, a Chinese form of oatmeal for the morning. I wish I spoke Chinese. And then this guy, he's eating, your son? Your son? Yeah. His mother's feeding him before he goes to school. That was just cool. Mom and dad feeding their son before he goes to school. Eating some porridge. That's, you see that everywhere in the entire world, but for some reason, when you go to another country and you see it, it resonates a little bit, you know, because you do it so many times in your own in your home country or your own house that when you see it from the outside looking in, like, oh my gosh, there's a mom and a son. Like, how beautiful is that? You see it from the outside looking in, and you have a new appreciation for it. So, this being said, I think it's good to always count your blessings when you have a time to share a meal with your family, that's beautiful. That's more important than going to the rest of the world and seeing everything. You know, when you have a friend that loves you and you guys can share food together and um, stories, that's beautiful. So make sure you cherish the small things. Even if it's a bowl of porridge with your mother in the morning. One. <laughs> Thank you. I got an apple because I need to get something sweet to pair with all this bread. This is a traditional Chinese apple, which is no different than any other apple. Actually, we'll taste it, we'll see. Tastes the same as the ones I'm used to. Extra crisp though. Hear this. But it sounds very crisp. It is very crisp. It's dang good. So this concludes the episode of Chinese food. How you doing? Thank you for watching this episode. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss an episode. Follow me on social media. That's the best way to know where I am in the world at a given time. And I appreciate you guys watching. See you next video. Grand total for that breakfast. Everything you saw that I ate, it was a little bit less than $2. I feel like I'm doing the math wrong. But either way, $2, $3, it was around that much money for all that food. I'll take it. This is the dang good apple. See you next video.